Yeah, I mean, sounds like Psycho wanted to talk about Burning Wound, so have at it. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, listen, I'm not a f I understand the fact that Burning Wound is a good... It, in Shadowlands, it was a good... It, it was a good legendary because it was good for damage, because it paired very nicely with uh, how strong our Immolation Aura is with Growing Inferno. Like, it had that synergy there. But the actual gameplay behind multi-dotting your auto attacks is not what you really want to be doing as a melee DPS. And especially if you're playing... If, imagine if you're not playing with Demon Blades and you're playing with... Uh, you're playing just Demons Biting a pack. Like, uh, like imagine you're doing it's a Mythic horrendous. Plus. Right, imagine you're doing... Mm -hmm. as, as a viewer, imagine you're doing a Mythic Plus and you walk up to a pack, you... Put up your immolation aura you tab target demons bite on five mobs and then you i beam and then by the time you get inside of your demonic window your immolation aura is falling off and all the mobs are dead and then you're or they're almost dead and you're reapplying your demon spite it's not fun gameplay it's and it doesn't add anything on single target because it's just applied automatically on single target right so there's no extra gameplay or thought provoking decisions happening it's just a dot that you put up by by either auto attacking or choosing to put it up depending on a talent that you're playing yeah. and it's and it's more often times than not frustrating to play with here's a thought what if instead of it being a demon's bite or demon blades proc that applied it it was just any physical damage you did like throw a glaive blade dance then it's, then it's just damage it's just trail of rune that buffs Emora. 